Hi, welcome to your weather report. I'm Dr. Robin McKay, and today is October 3rd, 2022. October is probably my second favorite month of the year. My first favorite month, of course, is January. That's when I was born, and it's always a fresh start to a new year. But October, I was reflecting on why this is. It's probably because I've got my moon and my rising sign are both Libra, so this is a influential time of year for me. A couple of my favorite, favorite people were born in October, my grandmother, two of my best friends from my childhood. So this is just a fun time of year. And this year is no exception. I'm very excited and yeah, just excited to bring you this, this uh, October weather report. This weather report is going to encompass the entire month. And then of course, every week we'll have a weather report to kind of fine tune and calibrate us to what's going on in the weather systems throughout the month and into the rest of the quarter as well. So welcome, welcome to the actualization zone. If you this is your first time watching, if you're brand new to my sphere, say hello. I'd love to say hi back. And if you've been here forever, say hello too, because I love to connect with you in the actualization zone. Um, let's see, is there anything else before we get started today? Here's the thing you need to know if you're new to my space is that I have a PhD in psychology. I have the capacity to bridge science and spirit or to marry science and spirit. And um, I'm also a clear channel. I've been a clear channel since I was a little kid. So that means that I'm highly intuitive. I can pick up on kind of the subtle energies and influences that um, are supporting us that might be at sometimes challenging us as well. So happy October to you too. By the way, if you are watching live, if you could just pop your name in the comments as well, because sometimes it only shows up on my end as Facebook user. So hello, Facebook user. And let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? <sighs> so listen, so this month I'm using Colette Baron Reed's, and I think they're called animal spirit cards. Here's the back, that's what the back looks like of them. And I was connecting in with my guides to see what's up, what's up for the month. And I've got to tell you, I'm so, again, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first card is all about speed. So we got the antelope, the antelope card today. And the, the message on this card is that life is speeding up. Now, what does that mean? Well, for one thing, we're just seeing a rapid pace of life. Breakneck speed, maybe not, but certainly you can jump into the flow of this month and really take advantage of the speed that's been that's been building up across the summer. One of my astrology friends let me know yesterday that Mercury has gone direct. When Mercury is in retrograde, there's a whole lot of like inner work and you know, slowing down and everything seems to just kind of be grinding to a halt. Well, Mercury went direct. And so now we're really increasing momentum and propelling ourselves forward. The antelope spirit, of course, is quite adept at speed. In fact, I think for the antelope, speed is its greatest superpower. It helps to evade predators. It helps to get to the good pastures and so on. So I want you to check in with your relationship with speed. Oftentimes we have a weird kind of connection with speed. I ran track all through college and I was a sprinter. So I love speed. I love to win. And I could never figure out why somebody would want to run 5,000 meters or 10,000 meters when they could run 100 meters or 200 meters and win like I could. Um, so, you know, speed is a funny thing. So what we want to do, first of all, is just check in with your relationship with speed. How do you feel about it? Some people get real scared when it comes to going fast. I might get in trouble, they say. I might get a speeding ticket. Like There are all kinds of constraints on our relationship with speed. So one of the first things I would say to do this month is check in and then just ask yourself, ask your heart, ask your spirit to just calibrate you with the divine definition of speed, with the speed of light, with the speed of sound. There's nothing wrong with speed. There's nothing wrong with speed at all. For, for gifted people, for people who have very bright 
intellects who figure things out quickly, make sense of things and know what to do about them. When we were little kids, see, see if you remember this. I remember being a little kid and finishing my, my homework assignments or my school assignments first and then getting teased or being asked to help somebody else who was going more slowly than I was to finish their homework. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But over time, it kind of created the conditions for me to be perceived as kind of a, the teacher's pet or the teacher's helper, which then further isolated me from my peer group. Maybe you can relate to that. So one of the things that I would do is slow myself down so that I didn't have to be in that position. Now, if that's something that you can relate to, it may be something that you're going to want to go back and, and just work through energetically and emotionally to move yourself back into giving yourself permission to go as fast as you want to go. Going fast is actually rewarded a lot of times. Um, but if you've had the experience of speed being punished, being punished for how fast you go or being teased for how fast you go, you may have put a governor on your own energy systems. So take the governor off. It's time to go. You've got the speed. Take it. All right. So that's antelope. The next one, this one is grasshopper spirit. I love grasshopper. Grasshopper spirit's message is to take a leap of faith. I was meditating the other day and my guides said to me, they said, lean into the void. A lot of times our slower processors, our, our, our intellect wants us to have all of the evidence and all of the, the um, external encouragement before we jump. But intuition, spirit works on a moment to moment basis and it doesn't always reveal all of the steps in the process. It might reveal one step or two steps ahead of you, but it's not gonna reveal 12 steps ahead of you. 15 steps ahead of you. And so in this time of great speed, can you imagine that taking a running leap into the void and allowing your higher self, al allowing God to just catch you there? There's a saying, build the plane as you're flying it. And I somewhat like that. I somewhat like that. But I what I like even more is just the image of taking a running leap, a running leap off the edge and not the plane. The plane doesn't, you don't build the plane while you're flying it. You grow wings and the wings are actually already here and they're here right now for you. All you have to do is allow them to unfurl and they will carry you forward into your void. So things are speeding up. It's time to make the leap. Dan Pink, one of my favorite authors, wrote recently, he quoted a, an economist who talked about making decisions. And the economist recommended this. Make the decision that's not going to take you into the status quo. That's not going to give you more of the status quo. So in October, between antelope spirit and all of that speed, and grasshopper spirit, which the message is to take the leap. Think about what the status quo is. Continuing at an okay pace. Continuing at a pace that maybe other people would regard as, as a little bit quicker than normal, but still within normal limits. But what if you chose the fast route? What if you chose to hyper accelerate. How would that change things for you? How would that change things for your life, for your business, for your career, for your relationships? If you just went as fast as, you, as you, you're able, as fast as you can. Some people might be afraid if I go too fast, I'll leave other people behind. Well, here's the thing is that other people tend to calibrate to us as leaders, first of all, and my dad always reminds me of this. He says, people vibrate in and out of our lives all the time. Circumstances vibrate in and out of our lives all the time. And if somebody is meant to be with you on the other side of the leap, they'll be there. But what I would say this is don't make the decision to take the leap or not. Don't make the decision to go as fast as you can or not based on what you think somebody else is going to do. That's the surest way to create more of the status quo for yourself. 
So let's shift out of the status quo, go as fast as you want to go, make the leap into the void and trust. Trust that your higher self is going to catch you. Trust that God is going to meet you there. I think it's Rumi who said that I'll meet you in the field. God will meet you in the field. But you have to go into the field and the field is the void. And the last card today is Dove Spirit. Now I want you to think about speed, about making leaps, about everything we've talked about today. And I want you to imagine that you can actually do all of that on the frequency of peace. You can be fast and be poised. Think about a high performance sports car. Think about how solidly it's made. It's not a tin can. Think about the care with which it's been put together. Think about the engineering and the design and how fast it, it can go as a result of that. Well, you are beautifully engineered. You are beautifully designed. You are designed for speed. So you don't have to worry about careening down the highway and having parts flying off as you, as you go. You're not driving an old clunker. You have a beautifully designed and engineered system, your physical body, your nervous system. You're supported. So allow yourself to test drive this beautiful high performance vehicle that you're driving. And you can do so in the frequency of peace. You can also do so in the frequency of chaos, which will certainly give you different results and a different experience than if you choose peace. But when you regard your life through the lens of peace and speed and making the leap, can you imagine? Can you imagine what beauty you'll create? Can you imagine how you will contribute? Can you imagine how quickly you'll master the things that have been challenging you? So those are the themes this month. Speed, making the leap, and all on the frequency of peace. So in order to anchor in these, these themes for the month, let's go ahead and breathe in love and grace and put your hand on your heart. <sighs> breathe out everything that doesn't serve. <sighs> and do that one more time. Breathe in love and grace. Breathe out everything that doesn't serve. And one more time, love and grace, everything that doesn't serve. All systems are go. All you have to do is decide. That's all you have to do. Just decide. All right. I can't wait to see how this month shakes out for you. Hey, if we're not connected on Instagram yet, I want you to go over and find me on Instagram, Dr. Dr. Robin McKay. I want you to find me there because I'm going to be doing some really special stuff around ADHD Awareness Month. If we're not connected on LinkedIn, find me there. It's just type in my name. We'll put that in the show notes as well, Robin McKay. And on YouTube, find me over on YouTube. I think my team's having me also do some stuff on TikTok coming up too. So stay tuned over there. In the meantime, have a great day, have a great week, and leave in the comments what's number one thing you're taking away from this session today. I'll see you next time.